hello everyone welcome back to my channel today let's go through cambridge primary checkpoint mathematics paper 1 from october 2018 the code is 084501 okay so here are the instructions you can have screenshot and you can go through that uh, and before we start the video i would request you guys to subscribe to my channel i've seen uh, there are many viewers but some of you have not subscribed please support by subscribing and it helps me to motivate to do more videos on that so let's start this is paper one so we cannot use calculator in this because you see here calculators are not allowed so we have to do all the calculations ourselves without using calculator so let's start question one here are some shapes on a square grid you can see the shapes here uh, so write down the position of the triangle so first of all you need to recognize which is triangle so here is the triangle here this one so this is x-axis along x-axis we have a b c d and e this side we have from 1 to 5 right so first we will write down along x-axis so e is here so after that you are going two steps up so the position here this one is e from here it is e and from this side is 2 so we can write down e 2 in the answer box right now, uh, question 2. A shop has 245 magazines. The shop sells 79 magazines. How many left? So, it's just subtraction. 245 minus 79. So, this is 15. We'll take one from here. 15 minus 9 is 6. Then 13. This will be here again 6 and 1 so final answer will be 166 right now number 3 here is a quadrilateral you can see the quadrilateral here write the letter of the angles in order of size from smallest to largest so we have the angles we are not given the uh, degrees of the angles the measurement is not given so we need to recognize them from uh, their uh, you know this uh, uh, the degrees we just need to estimate how you can do that now you see we are given this is 90 right so less than 90 is acute angle so this is less than 90 uh, and this is greater than 90 you can see this is obtuse angle so you can use uh, your ruler or you might have your protector which is not actually allowed but still you can um, see that through that but i will use this one here such square so you see this is 90 and this angle is you can see is going in the middle and this angle here it is so if you see this angle is exactly like this okay greater than that one and this one is bigger than this one so the smallest angle we can see this is acute angle uh, which is c it is smallest right after that is 90 which is 90 degree this is less than 90 this is bit greater than 90 if i show you like this you see if we put this on 90 like this this is 90 this is greater than 90 so then we have b then we will have D and A is the largest angle. Okay. Question 4. Uh, this table shows how many people visited an aquarium each day for a week. You can see from Monday to Sunday. Uh, we have uh, this. Uh, uh, you can see picture of fish here. So key is this one a fish represent 20 people. How many more people visited the aquarium on saturday than thursday so that means we are comparing saturday and thursday uh, saturday is here and thursday is here so one key represents 20 so this is how many are they two 
so that means 40 people visited on thursday and saturday 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 20 times 5 which is 100 so how many more he said how many more people so we need to subtract so on saturday we had uh, 100 people visited on thursday we had 40 and how many more 60 60 people more visited on saturday than thursday number 5 complete this multiplication square so we have multiplication sign here like you see we need to just multiply 4 times 3 12 4 times 5 it is 20 now 4 times what gives you 36 4 times 9 is 36 so 9 will go here so now here we are missing this one so something times dash times 3 is 18 so you know that 6 6 times 3 so 6 will come here 6 times 3 18, 6 times 5 30, 6 times 9 is 54. Now 2 times 3 it is 6. Rest of the numbers are already there. Simple. Number 6. Here is a part of a number sequence. You can see numbers here 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. The sequence continues in the same way. Write the next odd number in the sequence. So, the next odd number, is it right next odd number, you should always underline the keywords, right? Uh, so, next here it is, uh, you can see we are getting every uh, term by adding 5. So, 25 plus 5 is 30, which is not odd, this is even number. So, next will be by adding 5, by adding 5 here, 35. So, next odd number will be 35, right? Now, part B, Lily says the twelfth number in the sequence will be odd. Tick to show Lily is correct. Uh, if Lily is correct, yes or no, explain your answer. So, uh, we can, uh, she said twelfth number. So, first number, so all these are, you need not to go directly like that. So, this is first, second, third. So, these are multiples of five right so 12 times 5 12 times 5 it is 60 but 60 is not odd number she said sequence will be odd so she is not correct so why she is not correct because she is not correct because uh, 12th term or 12th number is 12 times 5 which is 60 which is uh, an even number. So that's why she is not correct. Okay. Number 7. Here is a rectangle drawn on a centimeter grid. Uh, what is the perimeter? So now what is the perimeter? Perimeter is uh, the sum of the sides or length all around the shape. So, perimeter is length all around the shape. So, we are going to count how many are they. So, you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, 7 this side. So, 7 will be on this side also. So, 7 plus 7. So, we have 1, 2, 3. 3 on this side, 3 on this side. So, plus 3 plus 3. 7 plus 3. 10, 10 plus 10, it is 20. So, answer is 20 centimeters. Alright. Now, number 8. This chart shows the lowest daily temperature recorded in a week. So, we have this. On how many days was the temperature lower than 7 degrees Celsius? How many days? So, we are not looking uh, actually the temperature. We are looking for number of days. Right. So, lower than lower than negative 7 lower than negative 7 will be um, this this is actually these numbers you see these are negative numbers so these are not lower these are actually the higher numbers so we are looking for uh, the numbers which are less than negative 7 so you see this is negative 7 this is negative 6 negative 5 so here is uh, 
सॉरी एट नाइन सो नंबर लाइन विल बी लाइक दिस नेगेटिव वन टू थ्री लाइक दैट सो सो नंबर्स ऑन दिस साइड विल बी लेस देन सेवन राइट सो नेगेटिव इलेवन नेगेटिव नाइन नेगेटिव एट नॉट दिस नॉट दिस सो वी हैव हाउ मेनी डेज यू सी we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 days when the temperature is lower than negative 7 number 9 here are four digit cards you have numbers on the card 3 4 5 and 7 use each card once to make a total of 10 so we need our answer as 10 so you see we have decimal this is decimal here so that means we need to have this like this and answer should be 10 while you add them so we can see um, if you add 3 and 7 right so that 3 7 is 10 so if i write 3 here i can write 7 here 7 plus 3 it is 10 1 0 goes, uh, goes here and 1 will be carry right so now we are left with 4 and 5 so we can write on 4 here and 5 5 plus 4 9 plus 1 10 so it's done it can be other way round so you can take here 53 and here you can take 47 so i'm writing here 4.3 plus 5.7 will make it 10 okay now number 10 calculate the size of angle x so we have x here so as this is a these two are angle on a straight line so some of them will be uh, 180 degrees right so x will be 180 minus 124 10 minus 4 is 6 7 56 so the answer is 56 okay so the answer is 56 degrees a degree is already there so you can just write down 56 now 11 write 17 or 5 as a mixed number so we need to divide 17 by 5 5 times 3 is 15 2 so 17 over 5 remainder all uh, denominator always remains in denominator remainder goes up here and divisor is here so 3 2 over 5 okay now length measure the length of of the line in millimeters so let's see it is 6.3 that is 63 so 63 millimeters okay now number 13 before we start number 13 i would again request you guys to subscribe to my channel and press the like button if you like the video and share it with your friends thank you so much guys for your support those who have already subscribed so let's start and uh, number 13 draw a ring around the number closest to 6700 so now because you need not to do actual calculation for some of them like 68 is too far 700 is too far now in thousand so we have 6700 so all these numbers are 6700 and this difference is 300 right so 300 and but this is you see these are two are nearby so we can count these one 6700 and 6750 when you uh, 50 the difference sorry i have written it is up there uh, so the difference is of 50 here and this difference is 51 right uh, is it 51 6700 no nope, it's not 51 10 minus uh, 1 it's 9 it will be here 6 and then 9 minus 5 49 so this is the difference is here is difference of 50 and here is difference of 49 so this one is the closest to the other one right now number 14 uh, uh shaded triangle is drawn inside a regular pentagon so here we have a triangle draw a ring around the name of this shaded triangle now uh, how will you know we are given regular pentagon regular pentagon means all the sides are equal okay so if all the sides are equal so that means this side and this side will be equal because these are sides of a pentagon right so if two sides are equal this side is not equal so triangle is isosceles so 
um, triangle is isosceles explanation what will we write down here uh, two side two sides are equal because two sides of triangle are equal here right now part b a different shaded triangle is drawn inside the regular pentagon draw a ring around the name of the shape of the triangle explain your answer so now this part b you see this is pentagon but this is a we don't know is it half of that or not and this side is also so all the three sides are actually different so this is a scale and triangle why is a scale and triangle because all sides are of different length okay that's it for this question number 15 here is a recipe to make 12 cakes so we have 100 g flour 100 g margarine for 75 g sugar 2x how much sugar is needed to make 36 cakes so this is recipe of 12 cakes so 36 can be written as like 12 times 3 so all the ingredients will ingredients will be uh, times 3 here right so we are looking for the sugar sugar here it is 75 so 75 times 3 5 times 3 is 15 5 goes here 7 times 3 21 plus 1 it is 22 so this is 225 grams now number 16 here is part of 100 square there are counters on some numbers you can see what mathematical property do these numbers have in common so let's see we have to observe this uh, square Okay, so if we observe this, you see thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then it should be sixteen, right? And uh, then twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty-five. Next is thirty-six, forty-nine. So this is sixty-four. So if you see, this is sixty-four, twenty. Uh, sorry, sixteen, twenty-five, thirty-six, forty-nine, sixty-four. These all can be written like this. You see. Seven squared, eight squared. So, what is the what mathematical property do these numbers have in common? So we can see they all are they all are square numbers, or you can see they are all square numbers, right? On a full hundred square, what what is the next number to be covered? so what should be the next number to be covered here uh, we can see after this you will have this it's it's actually uh, simple so this is 8 square so next will be 9 square 9 square that is 81 so what should be the next number next number should be 81 right so that's it for this video remaining question we will do in the next one I hope you guys understood everything please subscribe like and share it with your friends thank you so much guys god bless you see you in the next video bye bye